It's Friday, September 23rd, and it's my birthday. Saturday morning, and my partner is taking me. Sorry, I dropped my phone. My partner is taking me somewhere, and I don't know where. I had my alarm set for 5:45 this morning, and somehow missed it. And also somehow missed the 30 separate calls. And yes, I did count. There were 30 missed calls from her. So I woke up at about 6:15 with her ringing my doorbell for about five minutes. I don't know why it's so hard to wake me up. Because I did go to bed fairly early yesterday. I still have no idea where we're going or what the plan is. So this is fairly exciting to me. I'll keep you guys in the loop. It turns out my suspicions were correct. We're at a Japanese spa called Yasuragi. Very, very much looking forward to this. I've been wanting to go here for the better part of, I don't know, six or seven years. Never got around to it. So I'm glad she brought me here. So I'm in the locker room at the Yasuragi Spa and I was just given my kimono. Time to bathe, I think. And then my partner has activities planned for most of the day. Really looking forward to this. Best birthday present ever. Although it must be said, I look kind of silly. So I've just been in the onsen, the uh, warm baths, and uh, showered in the Japanese fashion with a bucket and everything, and uh, had a really warm uh, sauna experience. It's about 10.20, so in 10 minutes we've got couples massage, which sounds very nice. <sighs> I love this place. I'm really, really happy we came here. And so, so, so happy that my partner gave me this as my birthday present. You know, it feels almost a little bit silly. Here I am at one of the most relaxing and beautiful places in Sweden. And we had about half an hour between the massage and lunch. So what do we do? We sit outside and play Pokemon. Because of course we do. I am so relaxed. I don't know what to say, I'm that relaxed. My brain just isn't... braining. I think that's a word. Yeah. You have the best words. visit to the spa and um, I still feel extremely relaxed but the visit to the spa had one negative side effect I now want to redecorate my bathroom <laughs> so once I'm done with the hallway instead of doing my living room as the next room I think I'm gonna be doing my bathroom and I kind of want to do it inspired by the Japanese shower thing hmm We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to be bringing the dogs to the dog park now, and then I'll be babysitting uh, my uh, sister's son, or one of her three sons, uh, afterwards. And we're going out for a Pokemon walk. So I don't really know when I have time to put this together, so I'm sorry if this doesn't, uh, if this doesn't show up on a Sunday, like normal. Um, but yeah, I'll put this up as soon as possible. Anyway, um... Yeah... Japanese inspired shower in the bedroom in the bathroom Could be nice could be very nice Anyway got to get ready for the dog park Three days later 
As it so often does, life got in the way of me publishing this episode. Yeah. But there's a lot of things going on right now, and um, I'm not going to be going into too much detail quite yet, but hopefully the things that are going on will allow me to do a lot more vlogging in the future. But right now, that's not my focus, because Locke, my nine-and-a-half-year-old husky, has gone and developed warts on his rear hind l or his right hind leg. So, you know, that's usually um, an expression of uh, an immune response that is um, just not up to par, which is not good, generally. I mean, warts are nothing to worry about, but, you know, if the immune response system isn't doing its job, that's probably not a good thing, you know, long term. So I've decided to, um, to do something about it. And the best way to improve a dog's immune response is through diet. So, for the next couple of weeks, or well, week or two at least, we'll see how that goes, my dogs will be eating better than I am. Yeah. I'm just heading out now for the shopping. It's Saturday morning, I just woke up, and Bentham is in such a hurry to go outside, so... We're going outside. Is the world coming to? I know, I know. But there's a reason for this. I've been very, very busy with stuff. Um, some things that I can't talk about yet, and some things that I can. And um, let's just say that if all goes as planned, I should have more time for videos coming up soon. Hopefully. We'll see, we'll see. Um, but one of the things that I can talk about is a new hobby of mine, and that's... Well, when I say it, it doesn't sound like a very interesting hobby, I realize. But it's basically raw dog food. Yeah, raw dog food. So let's make some food. So I bought a new toy today. Oh, 
slow. Amazing, I've had this thing for literally 10 minutes and there's already dog hair in it. Oh, the life of a husky owner. See, that should work. What? Blow. And this doesn't... F and it only seems to... What the shit? What even is this? What? Doesn't feel very stable. According to the manual, right up here, it says when you take this dildo-like contraption and put it down here, it's supposed to click. It, it's not clicking. Why are you not clicking? What is the matter with you? You non-clicking thing, you. I don't get it. I really, really don't get it. And it was working just a second ago. Hold on, let me try this. Well, that works. Okay. Am I missing something really obvious here? It's for that thing. This attaches to this to do that thing, okay. This is for something else. This is plastic. And these are blades. No idea what this is. Whatever. Oh, my legs. Okay, okay. This goes in here. Stay. This goes on top. This goes through. Doesn't go further. And then these go on top. Yeah. Hello. What? What? There we go. See, this should work. I did nothing different. I... I am so confused right now. Huh. Oh well, it works. Let's make dog food. Two small apples. There we go. Let's put two carrots in there as well. I went and bought salmon oil, and they say that two presses per day. Considering I'm making food for about a week, give or take. Let's just do ten presses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mmm, smells delicious. Some rosemary as well. A little bit more. Put some coconut oil in there. Peanut butter. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's do sweet potato as well. But not the entire one. Now this is beginning to look like a really delicious meal already, isn't it? Oh. But we need more. Two eggs. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I saw it in my fridge and I thought, why not? Tuna. Come on, tuna. There we go. And finally, the most important bit of all, meat. Put that in there as well. Let's make dog food. Probably gonna have to shake it a bit. Round two. It's getting there. This smells absolutely disgusting. The mulch is settling down at the bottom and the heavy bits are floating up top. This is absolutely disgusting. I don't know why I decided to do this. This again, not my best day. I am so confused right now. And since this is a cooking show, let's just skip ahead to the one that I prepared in advance. Yeah. Make your own dog food, they say. It's so much better for them, they say. So yeah, there's like pieces left in it. 
I don't know if I just need a, a better blender or if there's actually something that I need to do differently because like this one here it's just a big piece of um, sweet potato I think yeah sweet potato anyway everything goes back in the blender except the look at this ah. Ah. oh wait here's a big piece of something what is this oh wow big a piece of a uh, sweet potato <sighs> Well, here it is, in all of its appetizing glory, the finished product, meat mush. But they love it. I mean, look at this. Hold on. There's some left on the spoon. Yeah, they love it. It's gross and it's disgusting, but hey, it's good for them and they seem to love it. Every so often a man needs a break. Today's one of those days. It's 6.30 and the massage parlor that I tend to go to closes in about an hour and a half and it takes me about 15 minutes to get there. So I'm gonna go there for a massage, yeah. Finding a good Thai massage place is really hard because they fall into three categories. Good, then there's the ones that try to give you happy endings, and then there's the ones that are bad. Now about 90% of all the ones you want to go to, or the ones that you try rather, are in one of the final two categories. I must have gone to about 10 or 15 different places before I found this one. And every single one of those 10 to 15 places falls very neatly into one of those three categories. Either they give crap massages, or they give good massages and offer a happy ending. Or they, you know, sometimes give crappy massages and offer a happy ending. There is that category too. But then there are these two places that I found that give great massage and don't offer happy endings. So there's no uncomfortable, no, no, I'm just here for shoulder pain. Um, there's one place near where I live and she is super rough. You know, she's... Um, I, I haven't met a person with as strong hands as she has. She, you know, digs her fingers in beneath my shoulder blades and just uh, crushes from the inside. Lovely. And then there's this other place that I went to now um, in uh, the old town here in Stockholm where um, the place is lovely, the people are lovely. Uh, it's a little bit different depending on who you end up with because they have like six or seven different employees there. Um, some are better than others. So those are the two places that I go to for my massage. Yeah. So my sister just called. Apparently Thomas, her oldest, uh, who have you met? He was the one that I asked about how was the date. Um, he's in town playing Pokemon right now and he hadn't uh, eaten breakfast. So apparently he's starving. So I'm heading over there now to play some Pokemon with him and uh, treat him to lunch, I suppose. I don't remember if I mentioned this on the vlog or not, but I've gone and ordered myself a drone. The unique Q500 4K. And I'll be getting it within the week or two. I mean, sure, all things considered, I would probably have been best off waiting for the DJI Mavic, uh, considering what I'm going to be using the drone for, which is basically easy portability and the great camera. But hey, I mean, the unique Q500 4K is also fairly portable and it's probably a good starter drone and if this is something that I like and something that I'm going to be you know doing more of maybe the Mavic or the you know upcoming versions of something Mavic like will be uh, will be something for me also I know people who work with drones and they could probably help me you know soup up the uh, the unique Q500 you know better engines better battery life custom firmware even We'll see. We'll see.
Tuesday morning, Bentham has pooped all over the living room and uh, I just finished mopping it up. It is really, really cold outside and I am getting ready for work. You pooped outside again, you pooped outside again. Inside again, I mean, I mean inside. It's way too early in the morning for me to think. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for cleaning my ear. Uh, that sound you're hearing in the background, by the way, that is the bathtub as I am uh, filling up the mop bucket again. <laughs> oh, you silly dog. I mean, it is cold outside compared to what it's been like these past three or four months. I mean, I can really feel that autumn is definitely here, but uh, it's always been that way, that when I catch a cold, my hands and feet just become small icicles. Well, not so small, really. I mean, I've, I've got big feet. And you know what they say about guys with big feet? We need big shoes. Ugh, my hair. Anyway, time to record Geek Days and then get this show on the road, really. I, I have work to do. I really love this card playing game, the uh, new Futurama Family Guy American Dad game. Um, but I'm forgetting the name. Takedown, I think. Yeah, Takedown. Anyway, uh, read script. It's uh, Tuesday, October fourth. Blah, blah, blah. SpaceX. Eh, eh, eh. Companion robots. Amazon. Sharks. Yeah, we go all across the board here on Geek Days. Uh, Apple. Soy candle, okay, fine. Um, 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 brain training games. All right, all right. <clears throat> yeah, all right, let's record this. You know, it's either the camera or the microphone. I can't keep you both guys level, and right now, the microphone is where it's at. So, um, we'll talk in a bit. Really can't win, can you? So I'm airing out the living room because of poop. Yeah, they're doing construction, and it's just hella noisy. Got the... Sorry. There we go. I stepped on this. One of Bentham's bitey, chewy, bony things. And I was just halfway through the first story, too, when they started. <sighs> All the frustrates. Where was I? Right. So here I am, trying to record an episode, and uh, Bentham has decided that this is the perfect time to chew on some raw hide. <sighs> Ooh. 
God give me strength. Okay, so uh, Geek Days took a little bit longer than normal today for no real reason. It's just uh, lots of... Lots of reshoots. Uh, so I am running a bit late. It's about 8 in the morning right now. And uh, I have to get going to work. And I'm still just wearing a tank top. And, and trousers, of course. I'm, I'm wearing trousers, don't worry. I'm not just wearing a tank top. Um, I should... This is the problem. Oh, Alright, I'm already a little bit late, so why not, why not just take this opportunity? Okay, real talk. I, even though I haven't gotten the official diagnosis yet, I have ADHD. I've had it for all of my life. I was the rambunctious, bouncing off the walls kind of child. And as I grew into my mid to late teens, the hyperactivity moved from my body and into my head. And this is why I'm constantly distracted by things during the podcast. I could be taught. Sorry. Case in point, actually. Wow. Um, there was a weird noise outside the window. Um, squirrel! <laughs> uh, no, so I get easily distracted by things. Um, I have friends who call me the biggest optimist when it comes to time, ever. You know, the, the time optimists. Because I'll say things like, oh yeah, I'll be there in five minutes. Because I know for a fact that putting my shoes on takes two minutes and walking there takes three minutes. So I can be there in five minutes. But then there's all these ooh shiny things that pop up. Like a notification about an email that says that my heritage has found a new link in my family tree. And of course, I just have to check it out immediately because that's interesting. Then I start putting my shoes on. And I realize that the countertop in the kitchen is a mess, so I have to clean it up real quick. And while I'm doing that, I realize that I have expired milk, so I have to throw it out. And then I realize that, yeah, the garbage can is almost full. I should probably pack that up and uh, bring it out to the, uh, to the room with the garbage um, and, and take that out. And while I'm at it, I probably have other things to throw out. And by the time this thought hits my mind, it's probably already been 20 minutes because I've just been distracted for so long. Now, I am in queue for a uh, neuropsychological thing, basically. It's, it's an examination where they uh, determine whether or not I have ADHD. And I've been sitting in this queue for 15 months. And I called them up yesterday saying, you know, hey, what's, what's the big idea here? I mean, why do I have to wait for so long? And they were basically, you know, yeah, we've had a reorganization. The, the structure has changed. And th since we do socialized healthcare here in Sweden, there's really just one cue for everything that has to do with these kinds of things, which is, you know, good and bad in many ways. I would love to be able to pay money to get ahead of the queue. And thanks to some changes made by the former government, I can. But it is a lot of money. And... Um, there's a cost-benefit thing to do here. I mean, my ADHD will probably not change because I get the diagnosis, so I could just as well wait. I have fairly good coping mechanisms. I mean, the only things that really suffer are things like this. My time optimism, my tendency to be distracted, my ability to destroy relationships by not listening to my partner because my brain is off somewhere else. I mean, the amount of times that uh, a girlfriend has told me that, Brecky, are you even listening? Are you? I mean, really? Are you even listening to what I'm saying? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, you were um, something about uh, uh, bears, was it? Because my mind was somewhere else and I can't control it. Um, yeah, it's, it's not good. But yeah, so again, see that? See, tangent upon tangent upon tangent. I wasn't even going to record this this morning. So yeah, I've been sitting in queue for about 15 months, and when I called them yesterday, they were able to tell me that there are about 180 people ahead of me in queue. And they estimated, and I say estimated within bunny rabbit ear quotes, that it's going to be about another two to three months. So I'll be starting the examination thing by New Year's thereabouts or early next year. 
I've been considering just paying to get ahead of the queue, but you know, since I've been here for 15 months already, it's it doesn't feel like it's worth it. This is something I should have done, you know, back in spring in that case, or you know, last year in fact. Anyway. And the, the reason that I want to get a diagnosis is not just, you know, to have this official stamp of approval upon my documentation saying, hey, look, I have ADHD. You don't, you know, you can't expect me to function as a normal human being because I'm broken inside. No, I'm, I'm not looking for that kind of stamp saying that, yes, I am officially broken. I am really curious about the medication. That's, that's it, really. I have heard so many stories about people suffering from similar issues as I am who have tried ADHD medication and it literally changed their lives for the better. And sure, I've heard a couple of scare stories as well where they try it out and they, uh, they just really don't like it and it does terrible things to them and they, their life falls to pieces until they stop the medication. Sure, I've heard those stories as well. But I am really curious to try at least. You know, give it a three month period of just, you know, trying the medication, seeing if it helps me. And if it doesn't, then I, I can quit, you know? I quit nicotine many, many times in my life. I, I know how to quit things. <laughs> oh dear, that's not gonna be easy, is it? Anyway, so um, yeah, that, that's really it. I'm curious to try the medication. And, you know, I, I've gotten ADHD medication under the table from friends. Um, but it's never been, you know, consistent. It's never been, you know, oh, here's three months worth of pills because they can't do that. that. That's, that doesn't work. But, you know, I've tried on and off for like three days at the most, and it actually does seem to help. It, it put me in a place where I felt more, uh, more myself, really. Because that, that's the thing. With ADHD, you're not entirely your own person you're very much at the whim of your impressions and the things that happen around you. Like right now, as I'm talking to you, it might seem like I'm focused on what I'm saying, but I'm also planning my day. I'm also listening to Bentham chewing on rawhide bone inside the office, which is, you know, three rooms away. I'm listening to the cars outside, wondering if the garbage truck is passed already. I'm trying to figure out what my day is. You know, I have a meeting at 9.30, but what do I have apart from the meeting? I should probably do some work on this thing. These things are all going through my head at the same time. And it's only thanks to, you know, years of practice that I can actually make it appear as if I'm concentrating on what I'm doing. Because I'm not. This is not me concentrating on something. It's very rare that I concentrate on things. But with ADHD, you get this thing called hyperfocus, which at times means that I can discover something on the interwebs or find a book or something and literally lose seven hours of my life to that one thing. I, I just disappear and engross myself in that one thing and I, I just come out on the other side mo mostly exhausted because it, it takes a lot of energy to be hyper-focused. But I've done nothing else. I haven't responded to emails. I haven't responded to instant messaging. I, I have three missed calls, you know. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's a great feeling because I get stuff done, you know. I do the work. So I'm hoping the medication will bring me to somewhere between here and there, really. You know, level me out a little bit. Allow me to concentrate at will without falling into this trap that is hyperfocus. And without me going, oh, shiny, look, squirrel, oh my god, I should probably, yeah, I'm just gonna, yeah, and oh yeah, I should probably. Because that really is the story of my life. I mean, case in point, I was a little bit late recording Geek Days, and here I am now, ten minutes later, talking to you guys about ADHD instead of going to work. Anyway, it's been way too long since I released another episode of this vlog, so... This will be the final entry for this episode. I was going to say today's episode, but it's not today's episode. I can't even say this week's episode. It's, it's this fortnight's episode. It's, it's been two and a half weeks almost since I released something now. I have a couple of changes in my life coming up soon, I hope. I really hope. 
And one of those changes will mean that I have more time to spend on things like this vlog. Hopefully also other things like going back to the gym, running and stuff. But, um, yeah. I really enjoy vlogging. It is this amazing way of me just dumping my brain out into the world. Because it's not like I feel that I have so many important things to share and you just must listen to me. Listen to me. It's, it's not that at all. It really isn't. It's just... There's so much stuff in my head all the time. And most of the day revolves around me keeping the stuff in my head and occasionally getting these small info dumps out there, whether that be through a tweet or a podcast or talking to a friend or uh, writing something. But I need this info dump. Hello, Bentham. Hi there. Hi. How are you? How are you, you little fart? How are you, you little living room shitter? Sorry, distracted again. Huh. Anyway, so yeah, I need these occasions for info dumps. And the vlog has proven to be such a good place to do it because this is the most honest and true representation of my life ever. I've tried blogging and it just comes out as being overly thought through and wordy and edited and re-edited and re-edited. The podcast doesn't allow me to go on these extended monologues and they're usually about something. There's a topic that I need to stick to. <coughs> I am really coming down with something. But yeah, so the vlog, it, it just allows me to be who I am and say what I think and do what I do and bring you guys along for the ride. Because I hate living for myself. I think that's probably it. I, I don't like living for myself. I like living for other people. Whether that be through service and helping people out with stuff, or whether that be just sharing, giving. That, that's what I do. I exist to serve is, is something that I say so often. And it really is. I mean, I love sharing. I love giving. I love doing for other people. I love improving other people's lives, even if it is just in a minute little, 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 little way. Because, I mean, one of the best things that I know in the entire world is learning something and then teaching it to somebody else. Anyway, this is a rant. I'm, I'm getting late for work. It's, it's currently 8.06 and I should have left the house about five minutes ago. Welcome to my life. This is, this is literally what it's like. Like, oh yeah, I should do this thing, but first... Anyway, I'm gonna publish this as soon as I can, which is gonna be after work today, and I'll talk to you sooner rather than later. I hope. Talk to you soon. Ugh, no, I'm not gonna go back to bed. Why did I, why did I lie down? Talk to you guys soon. I promise. <laughs> What with all the confusion, sorry. What with all the confusion this morning with uh, Bentham having pooped the living room and geek days and everything, I forgot if I brushed my teeth or not, so I'm brushing them again just in case.